Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. We're back in the, uh, what is it called? The View SP. I completely went blank and forgot what the series was called then. So today, I have been extending the base. If I quickly just fly up, I've extended the starter base to have a bigger bit on the back just because this, what we have right here, is nowhere near big enough. So I've extended it by, I think it's five blocks from there to there, and it's ten blocks from there to there. I think I could completely be wrong and what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to uh, just out I'm now burning I think I'm gonna rip this whole front part off just because I think now it has the bigger back part I don't think we need this front part so I think the new wall would start around there and then I think that should be good I'm not 100% sure I'll obviously have to look at it let's quickly just go sleep and then there is a chest down there that I am gonna quickly look in as I'm pretty sure DJ has left me a gift that I want to open. So let's head down. There we go. Let's ditch that. And here is the chest. So let's quickly see what is inside it. What does this wandering trader have? Nothing good. So this is from DJ. And it is, okay, eight neverite ingots again. Six tropical fish and a bucket of axolotl. Now, I do know something about this bucket of axolotl. But before we do look at that, I'm going to quickly head up here. As I want to put these neverite ingots in with the rest of them. Yeah, there we go. So we now have 30 neverite ingots. And just a thing, I have not mined a single one of these. I have not mined a single piece of neverite, I don't think. I might have, like, placed it down. Let's quickly just look at my stats. I think I've, like, placed one down and maybe picked it back up again. But if I quickly just... What is mined? Uh, let's quickly just look. Times mind, okay, times mind is the first one. Let's now look for never writing this. I really wish this was sorted out into alphabetical order. That would be so much easier. Because at the moment it's just loads of items and blocks mixed up with each other. I've mined two ancient debris. I think that is when I, I placed it down to remine it to get the advancement, maybe. I'm not hundred sure unless I have mine two. So all this never write that I've got on me, on my tools and stuff like that. I've not mined a single piece. I've mined half of an ingot, if anything. So this uh, bucket of axolotl, it looks like an ordinary pink one, but it's not. It is actually the rare axolotl. So it's the actual blue one. I know DJ has been grinding for this rare one for ages. So that is pretty good. And DJ has been uh, really nice to give me one. So we can now actually break this chest and we can now obviously finish building up the walls. That is the wrong block. I think I'm going to breed uh, this axolotl. I don't know. I think DJ is also selling them. I'm not 100% sure if they are selling them yet. Okay, I've currently just uh, teleported to the shopping district just to see if DJ is selling the actual, uh, what they called, rare ones just yet. So, bucket of axolotl, uh, cyan or yellow, uh, three diamonds for one, uh, yellow bottom and cyan at the top. Then we have axolotl heads, one diamond for two heads. Then round here, we have one diamond of logs, one stack of logs for one diamond, three stacks of logs for four diamonds. Does that, so buying three stacks is four diamonds, but buying three stacks is three diamonds. I think DJ has got the numbers wrong. I think it's meant to be uh, uh, buying any four stacks for three diamonds. As, yeah, buying three stacks using this deal is cheaper than buying three stacks using that deal. I could be wrong though. And fire fuel, one diamond equal 32 saplings, or uh, coal blocks, one stack for five diamonds. So it seems like DJ is actually selling a lot, and there's nothing through there. Is there anything upstairs just yet? I don't think there is, but we'll just quickly have a look. Uh, there's just a maze of rooms. Okay, I've now destroyed all of the front. Obviously, there is them floating uh, barrels and stuff like that. That is just because th they have loot in them at the moment. So it'd be a bit harder to destroy them. But if we now just fly up here, as I want to land on these just to pick up all of these uh, copper blocks. And I fell, let's quickly just fly up again. So uh, I am just going to quickly mention while I am just at the base talking. This stuff right here is to do with a war but i have decided not to uh go ahead with that storyline at the moment just because of what's going on um in the world i've decided just to pause it and we'll talk about this once what's going on calms down a bit 
I have spoken to the people involved of the war. Uh, DJ, I know, is one of them. And they are completely fine with uh, me doing so. Now I can fill in the floor. And then it is literally just the top little bit that I need to... Or that um, uh, bevels and that, that I need to remove. So let's quickly just put the door back. And no, that is not a door. That is definitely not a door. There we go. So it now looks like that. I need to remove that door up there, obviously. So it now looks like that. It looks a bit better, I think, as the front was a bit of a mess. I think once I get the roof on the back and build the back up a little bit more, it will obviously look uh, cool as well. So what I want to do is I quickly just want to put these into there to get these. There we go. As you can see, we have got, what, a stack or 50 turned into almost four stacks which is way more efficient for the actual uh, use of it. And I can now possibly finish this roof. I think I'm also going to remove these and maybe replace them for, I don't know, like Prismarine or something. Maybe, or I might just wax the uh, roof, which I don't know, waxing it is going to be a bit harder to do. Uh, okay, where does this have to go? This has to go like that, I think. Although I could be wrong and then it just keeps curving inwards. I don't know. I think I could be wrong. I'm not going to build it all the way around yet. Just in case I am doing it wrong. So let's bring that in then. And let's just bring it to the same point as these. And there we go. I just want to build up like this main part. Just so I can see what it looks like. To see if I want to make any changes before I do like the main part of it. So where, how does that look from over here? That don't actually look too bad I don't think. I think that is going to look cool. I could add some detail into it just to make it obviously have that little bit more detail. One thing I have noticed is on this side, it hangs one over the actual um, logs. So maybe that is something I need to do. Just bring that forward one. As yeah, as you can see this side, it don't do it either. So maybe that is something I have to do just to make it match up. I, I'm going to work on this a little bit more off camera just because it's basically just grinding all the resources I need to rebuild it. And I think we're going to go and try and find another axolotl that I can breed with this one. I did have a few, but I don't have any anymore. But if I actually just quickly find a few diamonds, then I put all my diamonds up. What are you doing in my house? Okay, I did put a few diamonds up here, I believe. Uh, oh, well, that was a bit dumb. I forgot I had done that. I have just slept because mobs and all that were uh, coming out to attack me. I also want to talk about that, that I've also been working on. But there's an axolotl somewhere nearby. I was just trying to sleep and I kept hearing ax... Yeah, there you go, an axolotl chirps. It's saying it's here somewhere. Uh, let's quickly just try and dig for it. Where is it? It's saying it's still this way. Where is this axolotl? Um, is it still here? Okay, it's saying it's now this way. There's a banner. Uh, that's weird. I found a random banner. And then it's still saying it's this way. Ah, okay, there is an axolotl. Now what we can do is we can place the axolotls inside of this water. And the purple one is a baby. So we are going to have to wait for that one to grow up. I can now also head down here and just pick this one up just so it's not by itself. And then it can go in there with them ones. And we can now just completely fill all of this in with uh, solid water blocks. And that should now... Yes, there we go. It's now flown all the way to the end. Which is pretty good. So once that baby grows up, we will breed these. But while we're waiting for the baby... Let's go and talk about what I've been working on on the iron farm. As you can see, there has been quite a few changes to it. Let's first talk about the inside. We'll come back and talk about the outside in a second. On the inside, I have completed the floor. The floor now goes all the way around. I have also moved this uh, kill chamber to the very center of the room. It, yeah, I think it is actually centered. There's four blocks on each side and then obviously that is in the center. So how it works is all I'd done was it used to come straight down here. Instead of that, I just curved it. So they go along that uh, tunnel, which then pushes them down there, which then pushes them down there, which makes it look a little bit messier. But there's nothing we can really do about it. If I quickly just fly up, I am now just removing these uh, little bits of wood. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do at this point. So I'm just going to break up. Okay, no, this wood does actually have to stay there. So yeah, at the moment I'm just going to break down like the bottom half 
uh, until I actually get to work on the top half. So that is where, how it's going to look. And we are also going to have a new floor, which is going to go around where I just ditched all them blocks. It's going to go around that level again. So maybe we can have the same thing up there where it opens out into this bigger room. Or we can have this bigger room as its own separate room. I'm not 100% sure, but this is a lot better now. We actually have a lot more room to work with. That is now all the floor done. I now just need to go through. Okay, maybe it's not. There we go. Now it's all the floor done. I just need to go through and obviously strip all the uh, birch. Just so it's to stripped as it's just like the, they're the same texture or the same color. They just have that little bit of a unique texture. So it makes the floor have a bit more platen than, platen, no, pattern than it just being like one solid block. So if I quickly, hopefully, is our axe going to last? Yeah, it has 200 durability. I'm pretty sure stripping only takes away one. Obviously, less if I'm breaking supplied. So it has 274. Yeah, okay, uh, stripping logs only takes away one. For some weird reason, I thought it took away two. I have dug this down, one more block, and the axe on the tool has grown up. So let's now head into here, and we want to feed you one, and then any of the others. So are you going to make, what, baby? Is it going to be a purple one? Or it is a purple. Okay, so we now have two uh, rare ones, which means we are now guaranteed uh, a rare axolotl every time we breed them two together. So that is the one thing about the rare axolotl. They're very rare to get. Once you have one of them, they're then not rare at all. I've changed the walls out for, I don't know how that village, I know I think I broke a block and it swam up. Now changed all the walls out for the uh, amethyst and I've changed the floor out for calcite. I am going to make this bigger. I've just made it like that big to start off with uh, until I obviously have the rest of the base built. I also do, just before we like finish this, I want to pick up, I want to breed the purple ones again. And I want to pick up a purple one just so I have one spare just in case someone on the server uh, takes them. Or obviously it is against the rules to do so, but if someone does uh, do it to grief or anything like that, I at least then have a spare one. Uh, I'll put it in my inventory or my ender chest or something. I've now fixed it. I have obviously fixed the water so it's all flowing again. I have also uh, made it. I'm going to leave these two blocks empty just so I can get in and out of there for now. As obviously it's not uh, finished and then I need one block to go there. But we now obviously want to breed them again. I have two more tropical fish. What I might do is breed a blue one. Or oh, okay, how did you get up here? Are you up here? Yeah, I thought, yeah, you are up here. Okay, let's push you back down. Uh, otherwise, you are not going to be good. So, yeah, I might breed a purple one with a cyan one. And then that's a 50-50 to get a rare or a cyan. And then that could get us two more rares. Can I breed you? I can. Come on, please, a rare. Is it going to be a rare or is it going to be a cyan? It's a rare. Okay, so let's now quickly just steal a bucket of water. And let's pick the one of the rare ones up. There we go. So we now have a uh, two rare ones in here with two cyan and then we also have a rare one in a bucket anyway that is where i'm gonna end this video we didn't get that much done but we did get obviously given a rare axolotl and we have breeded them rare axolotls i don't know if i was allowed to now thinking about it i don't know if dj gave them to me uh thinking that i wouldn't breed them uh that could have been bad i won't i'll let dj know but I won't sell these because I know DJ does have a plan to sell uh, the rare axolotls. I won't sell them because I know uh, that would obviously be, not be nice because they uh, I never got them. I weren't sitting there for hours and hours breeding up axolotls as this guy is not easy to get at all. Let me know in the comments what I should name the two rare ones as we have two rare ones, two cyan ones. Let me know names for them in the comments. So anyway, I if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe and I guess I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Thanks for watching and let's end off the video inside with the axolotls. So if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!